Okay, this is going to be a quick little video on doing symbolic calculations with limits and derivatives with SymPy. So I'm going to presume that you've already watched the video where I introduce what SymPy is, introduce variables, introduce how to evaluate functions, simplify, expand, solve, etc. So in this one, we're just going to solve a couple of, of quick little calculus problems. So the first one's going to be a limit question. And I'm going to start by importing SymPy as SP. SP is the nickname that I like to use for SymPy. You could always use a different nickname if you wanted to, but then of course your code would be completely unreadable by any other human. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to do this limit question. First of all, I'm going to say X is a SymPy symbol. And the function F I'm going to define as the sign divided by x. And notice I use the SymPy sign, not the NumPy sign. Oops, go away. All right, I use sp.sign instead of np or math. All right, if you're used to Python, remember there are multiple packages, and it's the type of problem that you're working on that dictates which package you might be using. So now I'm going to do the limit question. If I do um, L for limit is sp. Now it's designed to do symbolic calculations, so I'm going to guess that, sure enough, if I start typing the word limit, there it is. And now I want the limit of the function f as x goes to, and what did I type? It goes to zero. So the limit is actually relatively easy. Now, I didn't say this in the previous video, but I very well should have. You need to put me on pause now and actually play with this. Do a couple of limits on your own. Make sure that you know how this works. Well, go ahead. Put me on pause. Okay. Let's do this derivative problem, and then it's going to be the same thing. I'll let you play with it a little bit. So I'm going to start off just with a nice, clean, uh, SymPy setup. I've got a symbol. I've got a function f, which is SymPy sine plus x to the second. Notice I'm using double asterisks for the power. And now I've got the exponential function e. So that would be sp dot exp, the exp function of 4 times x. And what I want to do is I want to take some derivatives. So I'm presuming that you're in a calculus class and you've maybe seen what a derivative is or you're just learning about that. So let's do df for the first derivative is sp dot, and it is usually diff. And of course it is in SymPy. It's actually the same in NumPy too, but the two do vastly different things from a programming standpoint. From a mathematical standpoint, they're trying to get to the exact same thing. So I send f in as my function, and I print df. Now I should, have some notion as to what the right answer might be. So the derivative of this should give me a cosine, should give me a 2x, and should give me a 4e to the x. Let's see what happens. I got a 2x, I got a cosine, and I got a 4e to the x. Beautiful. Now if I wanted to do the second derivative, I'm just going to give it a name. I could take f2, or F, I'm sorry, f comma x comma 2. I'm, I was a little bit sloppy up here. I should have done f with respect to x. And then it's very consistent with what we did the limits here. The function, the variable, the function, the variable, the function, the variable. And then this 2 is going to give me the order of the derivative. So taking two derivatives, let's see here. The derivative of 2x is going to give me a 2. Got it. Derivative of 4e to the 4x is going to give me 16e to the 4x. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. And you can keep going, right? You can throw in quotients in here if you wanted to as well. It knows the quotient rule just like everybody else does. So if I threw in a cosine in there, now these are a little bit gross to look at, um, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, there's limits and derivatives. Very, very quick. The next video, I'm going to go through integration, but if you're in a calculus class, you might not be there yet, so that might be too early. See you there.